Well, hello, hello. It's Rex on the radio on the Rex Show podcast, and we just found out about a new beer brewery in Rancho Cordova in the Barrel District. Movement Brewing is here. Hey, guys, thanks for Hi. coming in. Hi. Thanks, thanks so for much having for having us. us. Yeah. Can you introduce yourselves real quick? Uh, my name is Alana Cavanaugh. I'm one of the owners of Movement Brewing. I'm Tommy Hamilton. I'm the head brewer. All right. And you guys have been going for how long now? Uh, we are on week number three. Wow. <laughs> That's a newborn yeah. baby. Huh? Yeah, we are. We're, we're the new kids on the block. How's it feel? To be there. How's it yeah. feel to be the owner of your own brewery? I mean, I can speak for the other three owners because um, there's four of us and Tommy as well. Um, mm -hmm. We are super excited to have our doors open and to be serving our beer for the first time to right. the public. And how did you come up with the name Movement? I think that's a great name. Yeah. Well, um, so we, you know, been talking about this for years. Honestly, this has been um, something we've wanted to start for quite a while. And um, we talked about the scene in Sacramento and just wanting to start a beer movement and uh, nice. um, just really getting out there and um, shaking things up. We want to really um, be a part of this community. Right. Um, we've already started. Um, by partnering up with the Fox Whole Family Foundation. Oh, nice. Uh, the Darren Fox um, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Okay, um, October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're, we're trying to really um, be a part of this community. We're excited to be here right. and, uh, and to, uh, you know, now get you, going. Now, you guys are right in the heart of the Barrel District in Rancho Cordova, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. so and, and where exactly are you guys located? We are right off of Trade Center Drive okay. and uh, Sunrise. Okay. Right there. And you're close to what? What are you We're close? right next to a couple of breweries, uh, Burning Barrels. Okay. One. We're right next to Home Depot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right there. <laughs> all right. Which is all, uh, always works out well for us. Yeah. So <laughs> you can tell the wife you're running to get Correct. some home improvement yes. stuff. And yep. Uh, uh, there's a lot of movement going on here. <laughs> exactly. Here, and you're actually getting a beer. Yes, yeah. exactly. We have that all the time. Hey, I was getting my, you know, getting my car worked on. I was wondering if I can come by and have a pint. We're like, come on in. Yeah. yeah. Come yeah, on there in. There you go. <laughs> there you go. My other office. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you brought in some beers sure. for us today. Uh, maybe you can uh, pour a little bit. Sure. And uh, we can kind of talk about what you guys have at the brewery. Yeah. So this is our uh, Sacramento wheat. Um, we wanted to do something, you know, local. Right. Um, and we brew this with pretty much 70% uh, base malt with 30% wheat. Okay. Um, am I pouring this for you? Yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> yeah. I'll definitely try some here. Yeah. And uh, so this is this is called this is a, Sacramento a, a, wheat. An American wheat beer, yeah. American Correct. wheat beer. Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> hot summer day. Yeah, yeah. very hot refreshing. Yeah, yeah, we wanted to go a little bit more refreshing with it. We didn't want it to do too much of like uh, spicy notes on right. it. I just wanted to have nice, refreshing citrus this notes is to good. it. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Um, should I keep pouring the, a couple more? Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll try the whole uh, yeah. the whole uh, yeah. selection. Run the gamut. Right All right. right. Yeah. Uh, this is our um, our um, our American Pilsner. Okay. It's actually called our Uncle Money Pilsner. Uncle which is Money kind of Pilsner. Funny like, yeah. as, as Alana was saying, we're I don't know if you said this, but we're all family here. Right. Yeah. In fact, um, that's nice. We our our nieces, and my daughter, and everything. <laughs> They always call her. Her daughters always started calling him Uncle Money, right? Instead of Uncle Maddie, which is his name, right? Ah, so. There you go. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the names of our beers came from the kids. They sure. um, they're super creative with some of the the names they've come up with. Uncle Money is also the name, as he mentioned, of of another brother in law who's involved in this okay. project. We are very family owned, and. Um, He's actually the guy who did all of our artwork, our labels. We have a huge, uh, I think it's like 10 by 20 foot or no, maybe even 20 more. By 20 by. Yeah, yeah big mural huge, uh, yeah. in our brewery. And we're so lucky to have him. He's a, a local artist uh, down south. Um, okay. And so, um, yeah, that, that name came after him uh, along with some of the other ones that you're right. about to taste. <laughs> we got uh, Angry Eagle up next. Uh, um, the Uncle Money is good. I, I like it. It kind of has a sharp taste, and it hits you right on the taste buds right as you taste it there. Right. Really yeah. good pills. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. That's one of my faves, for sure. Um, and then, yeah, Angry Eagle next. This is our Angry Eagle, which is another um, another okay. a name of one of our beers that our her daughter okay. came up with, one okay. of her daughters, my niece. Okay. Um, and this is a double West Coast IPA. Okay. Uh, coming in at 8.3. And it is called uh, what again? The called Angry Ang Eagle. <laughs> the Angry Eagle. I like. <laughs> I like it. And nothing about politics there. No. Yeah. It's no. Exactly. Angry. It's just. It's angry. Yeah. That, that, that was just a name they came up with. Yeah. yeah. A few years ago, actually. Yeah. So, like I said, we've been talking about it for a while. Oh, that yeah. is very good too. It yeah. hits you right away, and uh, yeah. a little bit of citrus in there. Yep. Uh, yeah. Centennial and Simcoe hops in there. Uh, okay. Nice, clean fermentation, West Coast style, and you know, it was just uh, mm -hmm. a little bit higher on the ABV, but um, you know, kind of gets you where you need to mm -hmm. go. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. A couple of those yeah. definitely get you kicked in the butt. I like that. I <laughs> Thank like you. that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Relaxing on the patio type of beer. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Our, I don't know if we have enough cups or anything, but our yeah. last one um, is... I'll uh, finish up what's in this. Sure, <laughs> absolutely. Another cup here. Um, we, uh, this is called our Dude Monster, and this is a very popular style nowadays. Dude. Our, our, yeah, okay. Dude, right? It's our uh, Hazy IPA. There we go. Yep. Um, this this one came again from the kids. Um, uh-huh. There was a, a a friend of ours and her husband came to watch the kiddos, and uh-huh. uh, he was chasing them around the room, and they were like, "The dude monster's gonna get us," and we were like, "That's the name of our I love beer. It. I love <laughs> we're gonna it. name a beer." The dude and this monster. will be for sure a flagship beer for us. We okay. will have this one likely on tap um, most of the time. Yeah. And uh, what was uh, the Dude Munster? It was, uh, again? This is a, uh, a, you know, considered a New England IPA or a okay. hazy IPA. So okay. a little bit different than your typical West Coast of what you just had. It's mm-hmm. a lot less bitter. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a little more fluffy, obviously a lot more hazy in color. Um, right. To me, I actually had a lot more hops um, when we dr- doing something called dry hopping, right? right? Which is post-fermentation. So we had a lot more hops during dry hopping. Yeah, I like it. It's, you know, when I think hazy IPA, I think, you know, you're getting tons of haze, but I like the taste. Yeah. There's a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, for and, sure. And then it's, it's rather pleasant immediately yeah. and, and yeah. kind of citrusy meant to be soft easy right. drinking uh it comes in at 6.7 percent i think so mm-hmm. a little bit lower on the I, on the abv so it's a little right. easier to you know, if you want to have a couple of them yeah. <laughs> yeah there you go well i mean all the beers i tasted here today are terrific thank fantastic you. thank you thank you you know i've got to get to movement i got some home improvement i got to do i nice. yeah. think i can swing by um so do you guys have any events coming up or what hours are you open? When can people drop by? So right now we're open Wednesday through Sunday. So uh-huh. swing on by. Um, um, our, our hours are on Instagram. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, uh-huh. and we even have a website. Um, okay. And then another you know, thing that we're looking forward to this week is that we're doing another can release. We have three new beers. Um, I'll let Tommy tell you about them okay, coming yeah. out. Okay, Let's hear about yeah, the Yeah, uh, the first one is actually we're doing a passion fruit guava seltzer that we partnered with uh, the mm-hmm. Deer and Fox, uh, the okay. whole Foxhole Family Foundation for Breast oh, Cancer, and he, he plays point guard for the Sacramento Kings. Right. Um, right. So we're doing a passion fruit guava seltzer, hard seltzer that's coming out. We're doing a uh, double hazy okay. um, IPA, and we are doing a toasted coconut imperial stout. That's also and coming that's out. And right? yeah. Friday, yeah. that's this Friday, yeah. That's Friday. I'll be on tap. Tap on yep. Friday, starting Friday, yep. yep. Now, as everything changes and stuff, do folks have to call ahead or they can just swing by or how yeah. does that work? Just come on by. We have okay. food. Uh, we have uh, outside seating right now while we're going. Currently right. we're going through remodeling right now. Okay. Um, and obviously with COVID and everything. So, right. um, But yeah, we're, we're fully open. We got food and, uh, and, be, and good beer. All right. <laughs> and TV. Food. You guys yeah. want to watch a football game? We got, we got, we got TVs there. So. All right. I just hope my 49ers win this week. Is that yeah. okay? Is that yeah, all right? That's all right. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, we like it. <laughs> um, well, great. How can folks find you on social media? Um, yeah, we're at Movement Brewing um, on Instagram, okay. and uh, you can find us on Facebook as well. Okay. Um, uh, we post there a lot, and yeah, um, yeah right. we'd love to have people check us out. And yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the whole idea. That's, yeah. yeah, that's kind of yeah. where we'll, you'll get a lot of the updated information of right. what's going on right. and what's being released, uh, any events that we're going to be doing. Yeah. Yep. Great. I, I, it's such a pleasure to have you guys drop by, especially when you just started. Yeah. I, I really do appreciate you taking some time. Thank you so much. Thanks and, for having uh, us. Yeah. Showcase some local beer. Yeah. yeah. What, I mean, you can't go wrong there. <laughs> Movement Brewing Company. And s- tell everybody where you guys are again. Uh, we are right off Trade Center Drive and Sunrise in Rancho Cordova. Yeah. All right. The Barrel District. Yep. It just keeps growing. Huh? Yeah. It just yeah. keeps growing. Happy to be there. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much for uh, dropping by. Appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, drop by for a beer at Movement Brewing. They're waiting for you. Cheers. (laughs) Cheers. (laughs) See you next time. It's the Rex Show Podcast.